Okay, so this question involves a race between two beams of light. One of the beams of light is traveling in air, and the other beam of light is traveling in a vacuum or space. The question is, if the beams of light have a difference of 10 nanoseconds in the race, if, if that's the smallest amount of time that can be used to differentiate the winner from the loser, then how long does the race have to be? So we can say, how long is the race? Well, this question really involves a time difference initially. So we have to ask ourselves, which one of these two mediums is light going to be slower in? Now, the index of refraction for air is equal to 1.0003. The index of refraction for a vacuum is simply equal to 1. Now, from the definition of index of refraction, index of refraction is simply a ratio of the speed of light divided by the s velocity in that medium. So, it's, it's fair to say that the speed of light in air is slower. Therefore, the time taken by air should be longer. So if we subtract the time in air from the time in space, we should get 10 nanoseconds, or at least that's the minimum. However, if you notice here that a time can be rewritten in terms of the constant velocity equation that says velocity is equal to distance divided by time. And so therefore, we can also say that time is equal to distance divided by velocity. So that means for this particular case, the time in air would be the distance divided by the velocity of air minus the distance, which is the same, by the way, for both rays of light, divided by the velocity in space. And that's going to equal 10 nanoseconds, though. Well, what about the vo these velocities? How else can we define them? Well, we can define them with this equation here. And we can say, all right, well, the velocity is equal to the speed of light divided by the index of refraction. So if we substitute that in there, and by the way, we can also uh, factor out the distance because that is equal. Let's factor out the distance and rewrite the equation first. And we have that's equal to 10 nanoseconds. Now at this point, we can simply substitute in the velocity of each and say 1 over c over n. Now, realize this is the reciprocal of the velocity of air, so we can simply reciprocate this as we're putting it in here. So it's going to be n air over c minus, and for the other one, the velocity in space is just simply c. So it's just 1 over c. And that's going to equal 10 nanoseconds still. We can also factor out c now because that's a common value as well. So that's just d over c multiplied by, now let's actually put the values in. What's the n for air? 1.0003 minus a 1, and that's going to equal 10 times 10 to the power of negative 9 seconds, which is 10 nanoseconds. Now what we can do is simply find our final distance of this race by multiplying both sides by c, doing this subtraction, and we get c times 10 times 10 to the power of negative 9 seconds divided by, now 1.003 minus 1 is simply 0 0.003, and if you do that, the answer you get is 10,000 uh, meters or uh, 10 times 10 to the power of 4 meters, which is, I think, equal to 10 kilometers. And that's the answer. 
and that's the end of this problem.